morning and welcome back to another video and as you can see we are starting off again in our storage room and today's project today's video is gonna be painting the walls uh, as you can see they are not done in the best way I think we did it two years ago and we had a paint that was frozen and kind of not you know correct so we knew that we're gonna come back to it so we're like okay let's just paint it white because it was quite ugly before so our plan was just like waste the paint paint it white that's why it has some more white parts some more see-through parts and it's a video but mix match in case you're interested and you want to see how it looked before and you see the first transformation of the storage room make sure to check the videos that we have done but uh, yeah today's project is going to be painting the walls but we are going to get started by clear coating the beam for now it's looking really dusty so i think we need to also put a clear coat so it looks nice i'm not sure that we're going to sandpaper because i kind of like this white wash which I think is limestone, so we are just gonna leave it as it is. But yeah, let's get started. Let's lock the beams, paint the walls, and we also wanna do some kind of upgrading over there on the corner. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I was not ready yet, I'm still not dressed, and I hear David scream, I F mm, really hard. And I was like, he was screaming around, I was like, what happened? That happened. It leaked, he was shaking the bucket and it leaked from here. And we have not locked the floors, have not oiled the floors, the floors are raw and that's what happened. Nice. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be like an artist floor. And I was like, don't stress. Well, there goes my plan. <laughs> not stressing. I mean, you had a very good solution to that. We should get paper and like smooth it everywhere. The like, you know. Whitewash. <sighs> Smush it towards there, cause no, there's no cabinets going there either. Like, if we could have cabinet, <laughs> like, I don't know, somewhere else where cabinets would go. 
Uh, why was that happening anyways? Why would the paint bucket have a hole at the place where you open the bucket from? Like it should not have any holes. Okay, in the camera? Really good. In real life? It's improvement. No, it's gonna look nice actually filling up the gaps of the wood here, you see? Okay, let me get paper quickly and some water. The small ones. You just need to go over it to make sure that there's no like dust. <laughs> Why can't we lock the floors first when we start painting the... Oh. Yeah, if we would have like cheated them, it would be good. No, it would be just simple wash. Here, just need to blend it a better with the rest. At least it's, it's water based. It's drying, that's what I said. And that's the spot that you see the most. It's pretty good actually, my love. It looks from far away, it's barely visible. Alright, is it good? Or is it amazing? Evie! She just loves this wood. So, and with that, as you notice, we have the next day, which means that the beams, we also decided to paint this beam, not the other one, because with this one, we are not sure how much we're keeping and how much we're replacing. The whole beam. The whole beam. So yeah, that's why we didn't lock it. But this one is staying and we noticed that actually this beam goes all the way till the end of the house. It's like all one beam and it's like pretty nice and solid. It's mostly the outside layer, like maybe like some millimeters eaten by termites, but the rest like really nice and solid. And anyways, it's way too big of a size. So even if it has like a centimeter all around it, it's still strong enough and uh, it's not gonna have the clay like it used to so it shouldn't go too much pressure on it and uh, yeah so let's paint the walls not the floors uh, I think we kind of solved it pretty good I can still see where it was we'll see when we lock it because lock really brings things out so <gasps> and uh, also on top of that Evie had to um, do her manicure, pedicure, and scratch her nails on the floor. Multiple which, places. Multiple places, not like just one place, which is maybe good because if she would over scratch one place. Yeah, it's gonna be a mess. We'll see. The luck should um, kind of uh, seal it and make it straight. Okay, we're gonna see. Uh, I don't know. Here's also the biggest splash. Okay, well, anyways, let's get the paint walls. Yeah, that was... So that's where it leaked from. The Here, front. yeah. Even though it's clicked in. And you know, like, they were shaking the bucket and it went like, whee! Ah, it's okay. So, we tried to take this off and, uh, yeah, we realized we lacked the bottom, but we didn't lack the rest of it. And for now, it's also holding all of the cables. It might not seem the best, but, you know, it's okay. It's holding them up there and that wall is like really ugly so we decided we're just gonna cover it with wood all until here where the counter will go in the washing machine so we're just gonna leave that as it is for some might be unfinished but I don't think it needs because we also didn't lock it so it might flake and make all our paint brown as you see on the bottom it's all dust so we're just gonna leave it we're gonna cover it with wood and uh, move on from where the wood ends and move further because uh, yeah I think it's gonna be too big of a mess and it's gonna be hidden structurally it's fine but uh, beauty wise it's not
I like this fingerprint. Oh, like trying to get up. This was common place for getting up. That was the last piece. Last piece that we did when we did the basement. And the guinea. But that mark is gonna go forever away. It's gonna looks more or less good so as you can see the walls are white and finished we did a second layer but just a tiny bit wherever it needed truly I don't think it really needs and um, yeah uh, for you guys maybe you don't know how our plan is because you're not inside our minds but pretty much it's gonna be cupboards all the way uh, washing machines gonna go very high up and cupboards on the bottom and here's gonna go a cupboard on top pretty much like this much will be like counter between a cupboard it's gonna be not having uh, where the wall will be visible. Like so, eighty, like eighty percent, I think, of the whole room. Wall is covered. This side, yeah. Here on this side, you know, cupboards, like you know, those cupboards. Here on this side is gonna go uh, accumulation tank, which is gonna be hidden in a cupboard, so it all looks nice and flush. This wall is all cupboards, um, and here in the middle will go actually the stove for the fire. So that's pretty much it. Next up we have to bring in our cold and hot water. So the cold water will be also for the faucet here for the washing machine and also for the boiler. So the boiler is going to go here in the corner. So that's going to be our hot water tank. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy. We're going to see you next time with the uh, installing of the boiler.